Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So, today we have got one system from the user um, Zeonot, I think is the way how you say that, apologies if I've completely scrapped your name. And yeah, they've sent it in a system called the Helios Binary System and it's got quite a cool little uh, thumbnail um, on Discord here. So I've downloaded it on the workshop so it should be here. Yeah, there we are. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what he has prepared for us. Right. Okay, come on game, what have we got? Oh, uh, uh, okay, hi, right. Okay, so the Helios binary system. This system has many planets and it is a binary star system. It also has many categorized planets. Most of them are colonized. On the crystal and mineral rich planet, there are many minerals and crystals. There are so many crystals, you can see many of them from space. I'm guessing they're the, I'm guessing he's using city lights um, to interpret them, which is cool. Uh, there is also the capital planet. Um, anyways, I'll give credit to my planet guy. He let me use some of the gas giants. Okay, oh, that's pretty cool. Um... That's pretty much everything I can tell. Now go and have fun. Okay, cool. Right. So, what have we got? Right. Okay, so... Ooh, okay, so that's the capital planet. Oh. oh. All right. Okay, so this is looking pretty interesting. We've got nice uh, customization everywhere. Got some exotic gas shots we can see. Okay, right. So start at the uh, very beginning. So Helios, the main star in this system. So we can see it's... um. A little more massive than the sun. It's larger, so it's probably on its way to a more of a red giant sort of phase, or definitely on its way there. It's more luminous, more radius. Uh, mass is only 1.74, so it's definitely um, an older stage in its life than I'd say the sun is at this point. So, uh, pretty cool. Right, so the first of the planets. So, this is Gord or I Gordy. I'm saying that right. Uh, tools of view we're going to go to uh, realistic uh lighting no we want lighting sorry realistic uh, and then we'll keep that on enhanced okay so first of the planets this kind of reminds me of something from space engine actually with the red oceans which looks quite cool so this is a volcanic volcanic world so as we can see there it looks like it has obviously red oceans which are looking pretty cool so if we look underneath yeah def red oceans going on look at that hey nice okay so it definitely reminds me of a space engine object that one Nice, okay. So next up we have, uh, I'll just go on orbit mode. Okay, so we have a crystal and minimal rich object here. So um, this was one, I'm not, not going to try and pronounce it. Ah, yes, yeah, so he is using city lights as glowing crystals. Nice, that's a, that's pretty cool. So it's all rocky on the outside, but obviously it's very, very crystal heavy. And you can see all the glowing crystals um, at the night time, which looks really, really cool. Nice, okay. Next up, we have got this one. So, Ord, in progress of colonizing. Okay. Here's this one. So, we can see it's got scanner of scanner satellites, which are pretty cool. Okay. Nice. So, we can see this one's uh, got a nice slow land. Looks very, very Earth-like as well. I mean, if we just turn off all the labels and stuff, I mean, yeah, that looks very, very life-friendly. So, if we look underneath, nice green land. Got a nice load of ocean. Obviously, lots of little rivers and crevices and stuff. Yeah, it's looking like a very, very nice uh, place to live, really. I mean, there it is. Um, if we check its stats out, what has it got? 92 and 59. So yeah, very, very nice stats as well. Got a nice, obviously, blue, white clouds. The typical um, Earth-looking world. Nice. All right. All right, what do we got next? So next up, we have got... Uh, where are we? So it would be this frozen Earth. Yes. Okay, so here we go. So, looks quite similar to the previous one, but obviously the uh, more frozen up version of it. So, there it is there. Looks like there's some materials being sprayed. What's that all about? But yeah, there it is. So, nice. Uh, minus 30 degrees, so very, very winter wonderland kind of world. You can see there's some city lights on it as well. So, more of the glowing crystals I think he was talking about. So, a nice sort of blue set as well, which looked pretty cool. So there you are, 96 and 47. There's still pretty nice stats on this guy as well, actually. So there it is. It also has a moon. Well, it's got two moons, actually. So first of the moons here, it's a barren moon. It's a pretty, pretty generic looking moon there. And then the second of the moons is this one over here. So it's an even smaller one. Okay. Cool. So there's those two guys. Alrighty. So now moving on. We have got this green one. So this is the capital planet we started off at. Okay. Right. So as we can see, very, very green, colonized, looking good. City lights as well um, on it too. 
Very nice. So I'm guessing the stats on this guy are going to be pretty, pretty good. So where are we? 88 and 57. Okay, nice. And then uh, one moon as well. Colonize moon. Cool. Right, so there it is. So as we can see, looking good. City lights on it as well. Uh, yeah, nice. 20, 25 uh, degrees as well. Cool, cool. All right, next up, taking a bit of a jump now. Okay, so we're heading to this object next. Terraforming Castrophe. Whoa, what is this? What has happened here? Whoa, okay, that's definitely been hit by something. That is a cool effect. I like that. So, something has gone... Or maybe it got bombed. Maybe it's like a nuclear weapon or something. It looks like, yeah, it looks like a huge explosion, Mark. I want to know more. I wish there was some reading. I want to know more. What has happened here? What is that all about? It's a huge crater. Well, the fact it has terraforming catastrophe, I mean, there must have been uh, an explosion, would be my guess. Not a collision, but some sort of base it exploded. An, a nuclear base it exploded, or something like that. So that is a ruined world. And I really like the effect on it. I think it looks really, really cool. That one's been crated and bombed a bit as well by the looks of things. That's also losing material. But yeah, I want to know. I want to read. I want to know more about this. And that is a seriously cool looking world. I, I want to. I want to take a copy of that if you don't mind. I mean, that is. A, I like that. I really want to know more. That has left me wanting more. I have to say because there's no reading for it. But yeah, I really, really like that. And there's also another world that's been battered. So there you are. Okay, cool. Very, very cool. I really did like that one. Right. Next up, we have got this world over here. To another Earth-like uh, world by the looks of things. So here we are. So stat-wise, it's quite similar to the Frozen we saw earlier. It's got 93 and 61 on it. Yeah, very, very similar to the Ice World we saw earlier. Okay. And um, we've done that one. So the next up, we got this exotic giant. So the first of the giants. So what is this one all about? Ooh, oh, Hello. Okay, so very, very uh, funky looking colours. Obviously, it's um, upside down because of the way um, the orbit is. So the starlight is underneath it. Got a nice colonised blue moon there. Those of oceans. That looks like it was Mars originally. You can see the volcanoes, the four volcanoes in Mars. So that was a Mars at one point. Looks really cool. And yeah, you got the exotic giant. Obviously, um, receiving starlight on its south pole only due to its uh, interest in orbit. So there it is. Nice, okay. Cool. And next we've got another exotic gas giant, so a purple one, or magenta coloured one. So here it is, so it's also on its side, also got a bunch of moons to go with it as well. There's a shot of two of the moons, both colonised. It's also got another moon further out, a desert moon. And then another colonised, there's a lot of colonised moons. Very, very nice, so looking good. All right. Now that's... Um, oh, no, there's, there's a few more objects, actually. So next up, we got this one, Extreme Giant. So I'm guessing this is the dominant gas giant in the system, probably the largest. It's only 4.53 Earths, actually. It's got a cool dark spot effect on it as well. Got a few little moons. Captured Comet, actually. That's pretty cool. And then also a small moon. Nice. Okay. Right, next up, we have got Frozen Giant. So as we can see, you know, this giant, pretty straightforward. It also has a ring as well, kind of similar to Uranus's, but a lot bigger. Or maybe Jupiter's actually. Is, that, that actually is more similar to Jupiter's ring, actually. Um, there we are. And then I think we, we went to the extreme giant, didn't we? Yeah. We've been here. Ah, there we go. Jupiter-like giants. Maybe this is the dominant giant. So as we can see, 3.69 Earths. It's got a lot of stuff going around it. Beaten up moon, so that's probably similar to Io, where it's so close to the gas giant that it's just been torn to shreds. And then we've also got another small moon around it. Okay, cool. Looking good. Right, then we went to the white one, didn't we? Okay, frozen giant. Okay, right. So then we've got uh, another exotic giant further out. So I'm not going to. I'll go to the second binary star once we've got through all of the ones around the main star. So this is a very, very funky uh, looking gas giant there. Okie dokie. And then black hole, one solar. It's a hidden black hole at the edge of the system. What is that all about? 
Interesting stuff. Okay. Right, so next up we have got the binary star. And that's got its own system of stuff as well. Okay. So all the way to the center there's some object very, very close to it. So A and X over here. Cool. There's definitely some massive ring as well. That's pretty interesting. So what is that ring all about? So there's a big ring, yeah. Okay. So there's a lot of fragments in there. So pretty cool. This is all just full of fragments. Okay. Right, so where we heading next? So uh, labels. So we've got all... I'm just going to... I'll have all these objects just up on the side here. So all the ones that are named, they're not coloured or anything. So I'm guessing they're fairly straightforward basic worlds so here they are all here so there we are okay so yeah they seem all fairly straightforward i mean there doesn't seem anything too customized around the second star so orbits yeah okay it's in binary with this gas giant as well 1.64 jupiters okay so uncategorized systems so i'm guessing the the civilization of this series haven't really explored this area so there is a there is an Earth like world there as well. So obviously that could be colonized. Okay, cool. But yeah, there we are. So it's got quite a nice mix of gas and rocky in there as well. But yeah, there we are. So that does it for the uh Helios binary system. Oh no, there's one more as well. Actually, never mind. One more. Extreme extreme giant. And this one's looking pretty cool with the dark spot effects as well. So there it is there. It does remind me of Jupiter. Oh, crater moons. There's another one of those crater moons. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So that's had a big sort of mark on it as well. Huh. That blue area is quite interesting. But yeah, there you are. Cool. So there is, yeah, that is the Helios binary system, guys. Yeah, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments of this. I mean, this one here is definitely the best planet in here, without a doubt, if you ask me that. I want to know more. What happened there? That is such a cool... It's just been bombed by something huge, so... Yeah, that's, uh, that's crazy, but yeah, I want to know more. I do want to know more about that, actually. But yeah, that's a really, really cool looking object. Easily the highlight for me out of this whole system. But yeah, that was said and done, guys. Really hope you've enjoyed today's episode. And if you did, hit that like button. Subscribe for more. Helps in the journey to 24,000 subscribers. And also a massive thank you to the creator of this system. Uh, that was uh, Zeonot for sending this in. So... Yeah, guys, if you'd like to also send in your own simulations for this series, make sure to join my Discord server. Link in the description where you can upload your systems um, on there. Nice and easy. But yeah, with that, with that all said and done, guys, make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.